everybody. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. I'm going to be giving a short testimony today. Mm. Well, I'm going to be talking about how, or, well, basically, how God has been through and in my life. And, you know, basically, he's been with me my whole life. He's been with me when I was with my grandparents and my mom, and everybody, you know, they they accepted me. And, you know, even Auntie KK, she, she loves me just as much as everybody else. So, and, you know, even when I got cut on my leg or got staples in the back of my head, you know, I thought I was going to pass out or die, you know. But, uh, you know, God was with me the whole time, and I, you know, I didn't have to worry that much because, you know, as long as he's with me, I'm going to be okay, and I'm pretty sure of that because he he loves me just, like I said, as much as I'm KK, my grandparents, my mom, anybody in my family, or you guys. And I remember, I'll always remember that even... Even though, even even if your family looks after you, you still have another person out there look, looking after you, and that's God. So all you gotta do is remember Him, and you know, pray. Just if you have anything wrong, you can always go tell your family. But you know, you can tell God too. Tell God all about your problems, and He'll fix them for you. As long as you believe in Him. And you know he's your savior and king. You'll be blessed.
two extra dollars so we can pay for the meal. <laughs> Good thing, I'm thankful for God because if we didn't get to the two more dollars, I would have got in trouble with the clerk. <laughs> Not too long ago either, I got a new phone. Ne the next day, I took to school, even though I'm not supposed to, and I knew that. Okay. <laughs> when I did, I played with it all day. After school, I played it down to go play freeze tag. But when it was time to go, I packed it back in my backpack, and when I got in the van, I thought I left it outside of school. But by the time I realized that, I was too far away from the school to go check. So, when I got home, I knew I was in some serious trouble. <laughs> There's a sign in my room that says, there are no blessings in the habit of disobedience. So, when, when I went to school the next day, I was looking for a pencil in my backpack. When I looked in my, in my pocket, in my backpack, I saw my phone. <laughs> I, was ha I was so happy. I called my mom, but she didn't answer, so I called my grandma. She answered, and I told her the news. So I'm thankful for God for, for giving me, so I'm thankful for God giving me the extra money to go to get my meal, and I'm thankful for God stopping a potential bad habit. Oh, he does this because he loves me, he cares for me, and he teaches me. He teaches me and he protects me. I am also thankful for my family, animals, and my 